Hello and welcome to Megawatt, where each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of technology from the world of gadgets. Blue Steel. This week we're looking at the Olympus E410, a digital SLR camera. Now give it back. So here it is. It's small, it's light, it's really sweet. Hang on a minute, this is a bag of sugar. Actually what we're looking for is this camera. And the reason we got the bag of sugar was because surprisingly enough that bag of sugar is heavier than this camera altogether. Now that's quite surprising. Why is it surprising? Well because the competition is twice the weight, twice the size. And so that makes a really nice feature of the uh, E410. Other things we like that are worthy of note is the memory card slot. Now this is um, this Olympus XD picture format which is two gigs on this little uh, little card, um, but it also supports the more professional, I'm trying to put this back in, also supports the more professional uh, compact flash slot in there, which uh, is a nice appeal to try and get the professionals in there. Other things to note, a nice big uh, screen, you've got a detachable lens, which obviously gives it the SLR capabilities, and, um, and a little pop-up flash, if we can get it popping up. Ta -da! And there we go. And that's basically a quick overview of the uh, E410. We love Facebook. Why do we love Facebook? Well, because it allows you to keep in touch with people. And I know email does that, and I know texting does it, but this is just different. It's great fun. Now, I know you're looking at me thinking, he's too old to like Facebook. No, we love it. It's brilliant. It allows you to sort of boast at how many friends you've got. Oh, I've got 50. How many have you got? It allows you to share photos with people. It allows you to tell what movies you like and just basically contact people that you didn't think you'd know again or, or see again. I mean, last week, someone from school contacted me. I didn't really want to talk to them, but I made them my friend anyway. And that's why we love Facebook. One of the nicer features about the E410 is that it has this dust removal system, which when you take the lens off, supposedly protects the, uh, the sensor and all the gubbins inside from, from getting dust or sand or other things, you know, general bits of dirt. Now here's a science bit that might make it sound a bit easier. Hello there. Did you know about the serious dust problems that can occur with digital SLRs? Dust can cause your photos you take to have black spots that look rather like patches of mould. This mould effect is caused by debris attaching itself to the CCD sensor, creating dark shadows. But this can be prevented in its dust reduction system. Hurrah! This system works by using Olympus' supersonic wave filter, which is placed in front of the image sensor. The SSWF ultrasonic technology uses sound waves to vibrate the filter at 35,000 times a second. This vibration shakes off all the dust and debris from the filter collected in a special dust collecting unit of the camera which makes changing your SLR camera lenses a dust and debris free process, keeping your images spotless. Jolly good I say! Hopefully what that video explained was that there are sonic waves that fire across this, this opening here to stop dirt getting inside. It's a really nice little feature of the camera. Here's a great trip for a uh, trick for when you're traveling next. If you're taking photos with a digital camera, make sure that you take two memory cards and alternate every day. Worst case scenario, if your camera is stolen, you'll still have half your pictures left. One of the main features on this 10 megapixel camera is something Olympus are calling live view. Now what they've done is they've taken the technology from a normal consumer point and shoot camera and put it into a DSLR camera, which is quite unusual. In fact, the only other camera we know of that features such a technology is a top of the range Canon, which costs three and a half thousand pounds. Now, if you come closer, what we're gonna show you is um, how this works. Now it gives you a live view of uh, what you see. So what you see is what you get. Now, why would this be helpful? Well, for example, we've got Matt, our director, who's uh, somewhere over that way, and we're going to try and take a picture. Now, with a normal DSLR camera, you're only as tall as your eye. That sounds strange, but, you know, that's about six foot. So if I try and take a picture of Matt now, it's, uh, well, you, you, you get bushes, basically. Now, with a normal DSLR camera, if I was to do this, uh, basically what happens is that I'd be, I'd be hoping on, hope on a prayer. I'd be sort of pressing in the hope that I'd get something. However, with the, uh, with the live view, it allows me to stretch up, reach, and you can see the picture clearly, and then we get Matt in shot every time. It's a really nice feature, and it's a great way of taking something that everybody knows and loves from a consumer side of things and putting it into a more professional situation so you get the quality and the shots of the lens but the ease of use of a consumer camera. Psst. Want to win one of these to BT Internet Radio?
All you have to do is answer the competition on Pocket Lint. That's pocket-lint, L-I-N-T, dot co dot UK. The answer is the second one, B. So it's got lots of features, but, you know, what do we really think about it? Well, actually, we're impressed. We're, we're very impressed, in fact. It's, it's a nice little handy device. It certainly fits well in the hand, and the small size compared to the uh, Nikon D40X and the Canon 400D certainly mean that this is a lot more pocketable. Look, we can almost fit it in our pocket. Um, otherwise than that, obviously, the picture is most important, and picture quality here is also very good. And that's partly because there's so much customization that you can do this being a DSLR camera, but also just by the amount of stuff that Olympus has put in here. For the newbie, there's 20 scenes ranging from underwater, because there's an underwater casing for this, to uh, nighttime, to birthday shots, to, you know, it just seems to be the, the, lend is, the list is almost endless. Um, then there's obviously the aperture and the, uh, and the different settings where you can change the white balance, and there's quite a lot of control, not only for white balance such as tungsten or daylight, but also to boost uh, the vivity, vivity of colours like the reds and the greens and the blues. Uh, overall, the, the live view thing is useful. We did find in shooting today uh, that we, we, to be honest, we prefer to use the, uh, the viewfinder, the optical viewfinder. And one of our grumbles, if there is a grumble of the camera, is that it's considerably small, and certainly compared to the 400D from Canon. And, and if you, if you might not like that, basically. Uh, overall, though, we give this a, a megawatt 9 out of 10. The prices for this come in quite reasonable, certainly compared to the competition. It's £500 for the body, £600 for the lens and the body kit we've been testing today. And Olympus also do a £700 pack, which includes the lens, the body, and another lens, which will give you a bit more uh, focus and a bit more late range than the one that comes here. So that's it for this week. So hope you've enjoyed the show. Uh, tune in next time for more lowdown on the kit from the world of technology and gadgets, plus the usual plethora of news, reviews, tips, tricks, opinions, and much more. This is Megawatt TV. Hope you've enjoyed it.